what? I'm going to Japan and I'm going to take you with me. So I wanted to do a video on what I'm bringing to Japan. So let's take a look. Also, it's just me and my girlfriend that's going. My husband can't go. So she's bringing all the medicine stuff. She's a nurse practitioner and I'm bringing all the, I'm bringing all the knowledge. So it's going to be good. All right. I am not a light packer at all. I'm an overthinker. I'm an overpreparer. So every time I travel, I have to really think everything through. I have a lot of lists, a lot of packing lists. If I don't make a list, I end up bringing everything. And I do not have my husband this time to put all of my stuff in. I'm just going to be going on my own and I'm going to meet my friend at the airport. So let me show you what I'm bringing, okay? If you are an overpacker like me, let me know in the comments what your strategies are in order to not bring your whole place. So the first thing I have is all my luggage tags. I just like grabbing the ones from Southwest because they are paper. It's really annoying to like wet it out and then you have to write it again. So I just take the disposable versions and I just put it in like this plastic slip, which I'll show you a little bit later. So I have two hotels. I got my two hotels on here and then I have my home address for the end. The next thing I have are my Apple AirTags. If you've seen any of my other travel videos, you know I love Apple AirTags because it just brings me peace of mind. So I have four of them. I'll probably put one in my carry-on, one in my check-in, maybe one in my purse, and one in my personal item. Next thing, I have my wallet, which has my driver's license in it. I'm going to be putting my cash in it. This is just American cash. Um, which is always just good to have in my personal opinion. I do have my Japanese yen. Ah! So I just like um, carrying some Japanese yen before I get to Japan. I do have a Suica card. Also, if you haven't seen any of my other Japan videos, I have like a super detailed video and then other detailed videos on how you can prepare for Japan. So it'll be linked in the description below. It's going to look like this. Next, I do have my passport and then I have my two Suica cards. One is my husband's and one is mine. So I'm going to let my friend Joyce borrow one. However, she might just use her iPhone because she does have a MasterCard, I believe. I have Visa, so it's pretty challenging to get a Suica card on your phone. The next thing I have are my snacks. I got some hot Cheetos. For me, whenever I'm traveling, I do like to have something salty because it helps settle my stomach. I have my ginger chews. Cheez Its always make me feel better. Oh, liquid IV. I also have another video on uh, many, many, many travel tips. So I'm also going to link that below if you want to see why I drink liquid IV when I'm flying. I do have some masks. I do have to carry around like a couple cameras so I can film and bring you with me. So I do have this Lululemon backpack and it has this bottom part, which is pretty cool. So, and I don't have a husband to carry things for me and I can't ask Joyce to carry things for me. That'd be kind of rude. Next thing, I normally always bring my Lululemon bag, this one. I always bring this when I'm traveling. However, I think because I do have a different um, camera this time, and I'm going to be also carrying around my phone with my tripod, I'm, I bought this. This is the Bay's sports bag. I took off that little braided thing because I didn't really like how it looked. But this is going to be a nice crossbody bag just like this. So uh, we'll just see, and I'll let you know if I like this. Um, I didn't want to bring my whole vitamins container. I'm pretty lazy, so I just got my vitamins in here. Clorox wipes. This is my trusty Lululemon water bottle. It's nothing fancy. I actually got this for free when I was doing push-ups against a personal trainer at a 5K race that I did not even run at. I like this one because I don't necessarily have to like put my lips on it like this. You just click it, and then you just waterfall it in. So it's nice because if it gets dirty by the end of the trip, it it's like not super dirty. Look at that. That's like perfect size. Tiger tail. We're going to be walking a lot and I'm not used to walking this much. I do walk a lot because I am a physical therapist, but this is my tiger tail muscle roller. So you take it like this and you rub it on your leg. The tiger tail is awesome. Also, I met the owner. She's amazing. Wow. Talk about someone that cares. This is called a naughty tiger. I talked about this in another travel video as well. It's like super light. I think it's four ounces. It looks like it'd be heavy, but it's not. So what you do is you can take it, put it over your clothes, and you just slide, just like this. Our flight is about 10 hours direct. I'm just going to bring this one with me to Japan, do my clamshells. Um, anyways, it's really good to keep your gluteus media strong. Clipper bag hanger! This clipper bag hanger is amazing. I talked about it in another travel video, and in Japan they have a lot of places for you to put your things in a basket, like your purse or your jacket or whatever. But sometimes if you're like maybe at the uh, fish market or so and you're sitting at a table, there's not always a place to put your bag. So I don't want to hold it the whole time. So instead, I just clip my backpack like this 
and then I put it on the table right in front of me and then I just hold it in between my legs and it's super helpful. All right, the next thing I always bring with me whenever I'm traveling with a checked bag is a luggage layer. This one is so incredible. So what you do is you turn it on and then you put this thing in the luggage, lift up, and then it's gonna tell you in pounds or kilograms if you would like. I love my white noise machine. In case there's any snoring going on or if there's a lot of noise outside from the street, turtle pillow. This is really awesome because it comes with a case. So I'll be bringing this along with me on the flight. A Sharpie, and I'm just gonna bring two Muji pens. You never know if you have to fill out forms. The next thing I'm gonna be bringing is a mini umbrella. And I got this from Japan last year and it is so small like, compared to another umbrella. And nothing against hotel pillowcases at all, but I do like to bring my own like um, satin silky pillowcase. It just helps me, especially since everything's so different when you're traveling, your skin kind of gets a little funky. All right, this is gonna be a bag where I'm gonna be putting my slippers in. These, oh, you know what? A lot of people have asked me about these slippers. These are called cloud slides. They are incredible. Once I hit December, it should be three years or so. Anyways, amazing. It's super soft and I like it because you could just rinse it off like in the shower um, if you get them dirty. So I bring these with me everywhere I go whenever I'm traveling. So anyways, it's gonna go in here like this. But in the meantime, I am putting it back on my foot. Okay, this is just to remind me that I have to bring it later. <laughs> this is my favorite eye mask ever. This is wonderful because I do like my eyelashes and I don't like things smashing me in the face, but I need complete darkness when I'm sleeping. So, and then you just go like that. <laughs> Can't even see anything. Hmm. Also, I got this from Bayes as well. These are really nice. Um, I believe it was like $18 for a pack of three. Anyway, I got the beige ones and I got the black ones. Wow, super good quality. So. Now I guess it's a little protector case for me. And I like that it's sheer because you can see literally everything in here. So I'm gonna use a lot of these bags. I have a bigger one and I'm gonna use it for electronics. I have a little neck thing, you know, uh, in case it gets really cold. I, I really don't think I'm gonna have to use it, but you never know, because if there's wind, then that can be pretty miserable. Also, I have some really good gloves. These are from Lululemon that I got from Vancouver, and it's cool because it has this little pad so you can touch your phone with it and you can like type in text. I got this also from Vancouver, so if I'm wearing a ponytail and I want my ears to be warm, I just put this on. I do have a beanie from Vori. I just wanted to show you some of the tech stuff that I'm bringing. In the United States, we use this guy here, and then Japan uses this, this kind as well. But if you do have something with grounding, like the third hole, then you need those two travel chargers. I just make sure I'm always charging with this and not plugging my USB into the actual holes, only because people can steal your personal information. So bad people out there, kind of stinks. And I have my AirPods. Another thing I got that was really cool is this thing that you can put on your AirPods so then they don't fall out of your ears. I don't usually have a problem with my AirPods falling out of my ears, but I wanted to try it out and I was wearing it earlier and it actually was pretty comfortable. We're gonna be talking about toiletries. So I have two bags. I already packed it and I'm just gonna show you and unpack it and then I'll have to pack it again later. Um, but this is my favorite toiletries bag ever. Can you see that? And then I do have um, the Bayes cosmetic bag. So also, there is pretty much no comparison. This one from Amazon is much better. I will link this below. This is like my ride or die toiletry bag. And when you see everything I put in here, you're gonna be like, I was like that. Maybe you might not be like that. But anyways, thanks for watching, by the way. Also, if you haven't subscribed, I would super love it if you would subscribe, join the family, and I'm gonna be taking you on a lot of adventures this year. All right, I wanted to show you the two cosmetic bags that I have. So this one's just slightly bigger, but you can see it not really by that much. Okay, so I'm gonna unpack this. All right, the reason why I'm bringing two is because, uh, you know, I'm not a light packer. All right, so, okay, these are tampons. These are also really good tampons. These are Lola brand. If you're looking for anything super awesome in cotton, I haven't gotten into the Diva Cup thing yet but you know, maybe, maybe sometime. This is my hair towel. I have a lot of hair as you can see. So I always like to bring a hair towel because the hotel towels, they don't really dry my hair that well. We are gonna have a washing machine in our hotel. So this is just some um, powder detergent. Uh, we could do two scoops of uh, three loads. Um, I don't think we're gonna do that many loads, but it's just nice too, if you need to. This is a lint remover, so it's super sticky. Um, and it is reusable, so you just rinse it off and then um, it takes off all that dust and stuff. So let me show you something. So you see how there's a little bit of dust on here? Look at this. Just take it right off and you see much less dust. So I'm gonna be bringing like slacks and stuff 
There you go. And then you can see that there's dust on here now. So this is a reusable lint bowl remover thing and it is just so fun. This is just my beauty sponge for blotting. And I do have some Lashify stuff in here. I am a lash girly, so Lashify stuff. All right, the next thing I have is my LED mirror. I got this one from Amazon and it's pretty cool because it's super thin. Uh, here we go, it is awesome. You can change the light settings, right, to daylight, warm light, cool light, and then if you hold it, it goes dimmer, and then it goes brighter. So I love this little guy so much because I do my eyelashes in it. I usually go like this or like flat. So anyways, if you're looking for a good LED mirror, take a look at this one from Amazon. Just in case I need glasses, I have my glasses. That is what is going in this bag here. Just a lot of miscellaneous random stuff. Also, I have my hair straightener there and it worked last year in Japan. Here I am at opening this. And oh my gosh, look how much stuff you can have just in here. I just packed this, but I'm gonna unpack it and show you what I have. My trusty claw clip, love this. That one's made of metal, it is old. I've had this since 2020, amazing. Chapstick, I love the medicated version. My slip tie knot thingies. These are good for my ponytails. Contacts case, I have four extra contacts in here. Mentholatum, so it has a little bit of that um, smelly stuff. So that could be for aches or if you wanna put it underneath your nose. Cocoa floss, amazing. It just grabs all that plaque from your teeth. You know how bobby pins can be annoying because they get all over the place? I just put a little magnet in here and then also my nail clipper just snaps all together. Then I have my little baby hair ties if I wanna do half up, half down style. This is um, good if you have like oily skin and you have to do some filming. So it comes with a little blotter thing, so. Molly Beauty. This is Japanese skincare. This is super water gel, 50 SPF, and I really like it because it's easy to apply. If you have more oily skin, I'm more on the oily side. This is really good because you don't feel super oily. I like to put this on my hands, back of my hands, my arms. I also put it on my neck. Uh, my husband doesn't mind wearing this either. His favorite is actually Beauty of Joseon, which is gonna be right here. So he likes Beauty of Joseon. My friend is like, oh, should I bring a candle? And I'm like, no, nah, I'll just bring some poopery, you know? But what if the toilet just flushes everything before we even get to smell it? Who even knows? Okay, here is my other hair clip. I love this guy so much. I, I put this in my travel video of my must have travel items. Oh my gosh, amazing, strong, strong, strong. Okay, but this is actually my wet brush, so you can actually brush your hair and not have it be pulling you everywhere, so. Wet brush, this one is old. I do use Vegamore. I feel like, why not have some prevention? So, this is the dry shampoo. It's the baby version, super cute. Trader Joe's lotion, if you know, you know. Okay, and then you don't wanna be smelly in Japan, but you don't wanna wear super smelly deodorant, so I have some Lumi. This is the one with no smell in it. This is really good, and you could put it on your feet too if you have smelly feet. We may be doing some fun Korean skincare days. Yes, if you haven't tried Beauty of Joseon, I really think you're gonna like it. It's amazing. Also, Beauty of Joseon and this Nivea Sun, it's not for when you're super sweaty or if you're gonna be going um, swimming, okay? You have to make sure it's just like for your everyday use. I feel so rich when I have a full one of these. It's not even open, who am I? If you get cold sores, uh, let's talk on Instagram and I can show you what I do, but anytime I tell people what I do here, they're like, are you freaking crazy? Like all the people from CVS and I'm like, can you just help me find what I'm looking for? So if you get cold sores, message me on Instagram and we can talk about this because I haven't gotten a cold sore in almost two years. And I used to get them all the time, like two, three times a year. This is the vegetable loofah. I already was using this one already, so I'm just gonna toss this at the end of the trip. But sometimes when you are not able to scrub yourself down, it gets kind of yucky, you know, like especially if you're wearing sunscreen and all that. But at least we're going like in the winter, early springtime, instead of like in the summer where you're like wearing all your sunscreen. My mom-in-law just gave us a bunch of toothbrushes, so I usually bring my electric toothbrush, but I wanna save weight for souvenirs. So I'll just bring this one here. Oral-B is a good company. I use Oral-B from my electronic one. I am so proud of how I did this, but this is just my Korean skincare. Literally, all my Korean skincare is right here. I do seven-step Korean skincare. So I got my cleansing oil, I got my cleanser, got my toner, I got my active, I got my Great Barrier Relief from Crave Beauty, and then I use my, my moisturizer, and this is for my body. So literally, I am set with just this bag. I just kept it all together just because why have all these little things flying everywhere? Toothpaste. Now I have some heat protectant spray. I like to use a Tresemme one. 
I do use Vegamore and it's awesome. I feel like it doesn't make my hair fall out as much. And then this is the Vegamore shampoo and conditioner. So I've been using uh, Vegamore for 2021. Yep, okay. Look at this, isn't this cool? So you can open it from the bottom. Boom! I do use men's razors because I feel like they give you a better shave. This is kind of like a mascara for your hair. It just has some hair gel in it. So if you have a ponytail, you just open it like this, and then you just go whoop, 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 whoop on your hair. It gets rid of your flyaways. So I need that because I can get wild sometimes. Oil strips, these are really wonderful. I've been using this since I was like 12. Band-aids, you never know. I love my biodegradable wet wipes. I know it is in plastic, okay? The reason why it's biodegradable wet wipe is because you're supposed to use these when you go backpacking. When you bury it, it's gonna decompose into the earth, right? But you're supposed to bring your plastic back. Yeah, like if you wipe your butt in the wilderness, you don't want to bring that back with you, so you just bury it. These ones are really, really awesome. I also bring these with me on the plane if I have a long flight, so I'll be bringing that as well. My little mini jade roller. This is from Mount Lai, which is so wonderful. I have like four other products, amazing. Tweezers, concealer, uh, and then just like from eyebrows. That's called the Gimme Brow from Benefit. Then I got the Chella eyebrow pencil. Pimple patches. This one's really good from CosRx. This is from Japan last year. Cool, I guess I could use this. And then these are from Hero. So if you get like a big strip of pimples, you can cut it. Oh, I should bring my scissors. Anyways, uh, yeah, maybe a lot of that was TMI, but that's all the stuff I'm gonna be bringing as far as beauty care goes. Welcome to a portion of my closet. Actually, this side is my husband's side. I pushed everything over to the edge and I just took over, so I'm so sorry. Um, and I'm leaving him for over a week, so how rude of me. Anyways, I am not a light packer. If I don't plan out my outfits, I will bring my whole closet, trust me. So when the weather is super predictable, like when we were in Boston, I just knew it was gonna be cold, like really cold, so I ended up just bringing everything exactly how I was gonna wear it. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, kind of like that, and I would write it out. But here, I don't really know how the weather's gonna be because I don't know if there's gonna be wind. And I know we're gonna be in the city, but you just never know. Um, 30 degrees to 50 degrees is gonna be the weather, so we'll just see. Anyways, this is how I do my packing when it comes to a trip like this to Japan. So I'm gonna be walking a lot. I do exercise a lot, but I'm not gonna be exercising on this trip. We're just gonna be walking a lot. So I'm not gonna worry about athletic wear. You shouldn't be wearing leggings. You gotta make sure you cover your butt when you go to Japan. So I have my capsule wardrobe right here and we'll see how heavy everything is. If I need to take things out, I will. Over here on the edge, this is gonna be my travel day gear and we do have a washing machine. So I'm gonna be washing this and then wearing it on the way back. So I got my Vuori joggers. These are amazing. Uh, they're super soft. And then I have my Vuori Pose Plyo Tank and it has a built-in bra, because who wants to wear bras anyways when you're on a long flight? Our flight is about 10 hours, if I didn't mention that already. This is a cotton long sleeve shirt from Aritzia, really easy to layer with. Um, I love this one. And then I got this hoodie from Aritzia as well. It's like slightly cropped, so you look really cute in it. But yes, this is from Aritzia, it's super soft and it's big enough in the arms. The hoodie goes over your entire head and then you can unzip it if you get hot. Okay, so that's gonna be the first day. Then I have, I separated my outfits into pairs of pants, and then if I need to rewear the pair of pants, I will, but I have other shirts. So I feel like for me, my pants don't tend to get that dirty. It's more like the tops that make me feel a little bit better if I could switch it out. Two pairs of black slacks, one pair of khaki slacks, and then one pair of blue jeans. How I do it is I just match up everything how I like it to look. So I have a long sleeve, I have a sweatshirt if I want to layer. I have some body suits right through here. These are just the shirt versions, and then I can layer with this as well. And then over here, this color looks good together. This can go on top of that, which looks good. If I wanna dress up kind of nice, this is like my nice outfit from Aritzia, so this will look really nice in the khakis as well. And then I have a short sleeve bodysuit. My favorite bodysuits are from Abercrombie because I do have a longer torso. This is my jeans that I like to wear and they're loose, so if I need to wear leggings underneath, oh, I should bring a pair of leggings. Just in case I need to bring a pair of leggings, here you go, I got the Lululemon Align leggings which go up high-waisted and everything else is high-waisted. So I did do this in Boston and it was awesome. So I guess I am bringing leggings to Japan. Got my black ones and I got a navy blue pair. All right, then in 
In case it is super cold, I do have two long sleeves from Lululemon that I could put underneath. I have the, this one from Aritzia. It's the white version of the black one I just showed you. And then I also have this one, which is a looser one. So that can also fit this Lululemon long sleeve underneath. So we're gonna be gone for about 10 days. So we'll see if, if I cannot do laundry, then all of this will be fine. I'll just rewear some of the pants. I got my pajama pants. This is from Vuori. This is just the regular performance joggers, just like the black ones I'm gonna wear on my travel day. Pose plan tank, but in olive green, my favorite, one of my favorite colors. The pajama shirt, if I wanna use it as pajamas. And I have this from Aritzia. This is a uh, waffle weave shirt. This is why you gotta bring that lint thing. So that's that. And if I just need to wear this and I'm super cold, this is gonna be a clean hoodie made just for sleeping. This is the trench coat that I got from Japan last year. It, it is amazing. It was expensive, but it is amazing. It's from Pinky and Diane. I got it at the Takashimaya Mall. I think I said that right. Really thin fleece that I could put under this if needed. It doesn't even feel that heavy, you know? So we'll just see. But I'm going to pack it away in my packing cubes and I'll show you how I do it. This is my dad coat from Abercrombie and it is going to be, I just brought this to Boston and it was so cold in Boston and this was perfect because it covers your butt and it goes all the way to your knees and this can go underneath this or I can just wear this on its own. All right, I didn't want to be like super creepy and show you all my underwear, but I did want to show you exactly how I do everything. So what I usually do is I just list it off like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's enough for my underwear. Let's go. All right, uh, I don't have a mirror yet because we just moved into this place, but this is my selfie stick tripod. It is amazing. So yeah, I'm just holding this here so then I can give you a nice clear shot. But I wanted to show you the luggage that we're going to be using. So I got my Bayes check-in. This is a 29 inch check-in, a carry-on roller. I have the Bayes mini weekender. And then this is the duffel that we're going to be bringing. This goes really big. You can fit um, all your football gear if you play football. But yeah, this is my husband's football uh, bag. It's super sturdy. Then this bag, it's going to cover the check-in bag. So you can see, this is how I do my luggage tags. So it already comes with this plastic thing. And then I always have like a little ribbon so people know that it's not theirs. So black ribbon, luggage tag. And just to keep it extra secure, I put the string through this string in case it were to fall out of that. But I'm pretty sure it would have a hard time falling out of that. The other thing I have is um, some of my compression cubes. And then these are just some Bayes packing cubes. I always use these guys. So I'm gonna be probably using both. Yes, and then I'm gonna try my best to not take up too much space in that check-in bag because I wanna bring back things. Okie dokie, we're gonna start packing this, so I'm gonna put on some music, yeah. I still have half a whole carry-on right here open and I barely filled up this side. My personal item is pretty full. Right before we board, I may just rearrange it just because the flight is 10 hours. So, but so far we're just killing it. All right, I brought my clothes over. So the goal is I would like to fill up half of my check-in, maybe just a little bit more, and then I can use the rest for souvenirs. Well, we'll just see. I don't want to make it too stressful. Um, we are traveling with Japan Airlines, so you get two check-in bags and they can go up to 50 pounds. And then you can have a carry-on and the carry-on can go up to 22 pounds. I just uh, looked it up online. And then the personal item, they don't weigh that. So all your heavy stuff should go in the personal item. I'm going to move some outfits into the carry-on just in case you never know if they lose the bag. But that's why I always have an Apple AirTag just for peace of mind. a couple different ways on how to pack some outfits in here and it's more than two days worth. I would say I could probably get away with uh, maybe five days worth here. So I tried to pack it in the base packing cubes and then it just like wasn't fitting. So I'm like, forget this mess. I'm just gonna go with my trusty old Gonex compression cubes here. So look at this, easy. Um, so I will just put outfits in these base packing cubes and I have not that much clothes left. I just have to put it in the check-in bag. So I guess I'm coming home with a lot of Japanese skincare. 
a little bit over 20 pounds, which is perfect. We get up to 22 pounds. Woohoo! This is the duffel bag I'm going to be bringing, but yeah, you can see super amazing quality. I'm just going to throw an air tag in there later. I could just start packing kind of sloppy and it wouldn't even matter. Alright. Air tag. in like half a check-in. Look at that! Isn't that so cool? I'm gonna be extra. I'm gonna bring these two hangers because sometimes some hotels don't have enough hangers um, or maybe I just don't like them. So yeah. Ha! The base bags just has so many pockets everywhere. This coat was expensive. It was like $400. We got professional pictures taken in Japan and the guy said Look, people don't drive, so they tend to spend a lot of, of money on clothing, and they like good clothing. This is how it goes. When you are an overpacker, you gotta just really think about things, or suffer the consequences. Yeah. Oh, duh! <laughs> oh, whoops! I have forgotten my toiletries bag. Oh my gosh. It's because I was packing it. After I unpacked it for y'all, I am so excited to take you with me to Japan. Moment of truth. <laughs> it's only 36.9 pounds. I think this might have been the best, like, packing job maybe ever. Who knows? But it does help that we have a laundry machine, but I can make it at least, at least eight days. We're gonna go shopping! Let me know in the comments below if you are an overpacker and what your strategies are in order to do um, a trip internationally. So, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in Japan. Bye!